what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more peaky blinders season 5 episode 2 is here today why did i just do that i, I have no idea anyways we're here today season 5 episode 2 and things are getting real bumpy huh yes they made it now they lost everything. <laughs> so, so now they got to revert back to the gangster life. So they're back in Birmingham. Ah, never gets old, doesn't it? Never gets old. I think Michael is on his way back to Birmingham too. Haven't seen him since he left Detroit. Um, also, we have... Um, things that are going on in the episode is just Tommy just having this, this constant, uh, reminder of things that happened to him in the past. It's like, he can't handle it, but he's trying to handle it. Um, why won't people listen to him when he talks? So I'm guessing that's going to be the theme throughout the season of nobody listening to him. Um, you know, the family had a meeting again. You know, Finn almost getting killed because he didn't listen. Um, you know, Polly is just a star. I'm talking about her, man. This is my baby right there. But anyways, um, we're going to jump into this episode, man. Um, as I said, man, last episode, just introduction for this season. A um, lot of setups, setting up for the season. So we're going to see how some of that play out in episode two, I'm guessing. So I know that. There's already four episodes of the season out. Uh, we're just at episode two. I'm going to try to catch up by the end of this week. I'm going to try. I'm going to really try to catch up by the end of this week. So by the time episode five drops, I think on Sunday, then I'll be able to be there as soon as it drops. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like. Go watch the episode. Come back for the review, man. I'll see you guys. All right, here we are, season five, episode two. It's getting bumpy. It's getting bumpy, and I love it. I love it. The acting, man, that that Billy Boy scene, bro, that junk caught me off guard, so off guard. That thing, that it cost, it 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 really did. It really, really did. Caught me off guard there. I mean, y'all saw my, I jumped because I was like, yo, I did not expect that because because there was no indication of anybody coming for him or, but man, they did his son dirty, bro. They did his son dirty. They put him on a cross and shot him in the face like, bro, that was nuts. That was nuts. One, I, I would have to say, without a shadow of a doubt, I believe that that's definitely going in my top five favorite episodes of Peaky Blinders. It has to be. It caught me off guard. I didn't expect it, and it fits, you know. So, Michael, 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 Michael. Is Michael lying? Is he telling the truth? I still don't know. I kind of believe what he was saying to, when he explained himself to Tommy about what happened, but I still don't, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent on the belief side. Um, Tommy at this point in the moment, like his problem with everybody is that nobody is listening to him and it's like, he's losing control of his organization and you know what I'm saying? Him suspecting Michael is a bit of a reach, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? He has cause, you know what I'm saying? He has cause. And as I said, I don't, at this moment, I kind of don't trust Michael because he is a, when it comes on to how the episode went and the stuff that he was doing to avoid discussing the situation, knowing the type of family you have, bro, the first thing you, I know nobody, no, nobody likes when family treats you like, you know, like you're a liar, like you're on trust, 
you know, you're, you're not trustworthy, right? Nobody likes that. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why you would lash out, but at the same time, why not just tell the truth? You know your family better than your wife, you know what I'm saying? Which I believe that was way out of... There's got to be another reason why they did that. Because that just seems kind of spur the moment kind of thing. Because it didn't, it just looked like she, didn't look like she was like a, a girlfriend, girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like fiance type. You know what I'm saying? It seems like some girl he was banging. Didn't really, <laughs> didn't really come off as a real relationship at first. But hey, they're married now. Now she's Mrs. Gray. So can't disagree with that. You know, I can't leave without talking about my beautiful lady, Polly Gray. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is the quintessential meaning of <laughs> my desire. <laughs> Man, she is fine. I don't care what nobody says. I believe that she's a very sexy older woman. And she exudes sexy when she's on screen. The way how they dress her, her costume designer... Or for the whole show, whatever. The person who dresses her on point because they don't do anybody else like her with the shades and the hat and everything just fits. Just make her look gangster and also very ladylike. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's very easy to see her on screen and be like, oh, amazing. Anyways, yeah, so. We got Arthur going off, Linda, Linda and Lizzie writing letters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, they, they still don't get it. They don't get it. And they're still trying to push this agenda that's not really there. Um, and they just want, um, Lizzie's problem is that she don't want the empire to go down and there's nothing left. Like he don't want Tom, she don't want Tommy to die and then die and she don't have none to take care of the kids, which is understandable. I get where she's coming from, but at the same time, they're taking a lot of liberties just because, you know what I'm saying? They're mad. One's married to Tommy, one's married to Arthur and Arthur. I don't see him as the type who's going to beat Linda or anything like that or, you know, put his hands on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not those type of people. Like, they respect women. They damn sure ain't gonna do that while while Polly is around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the respect that they have for Polly is definitely would withhold them from doing stuff like that. They were raised better. Let's just be honest. So, um, so yeah, man. They write in letters. And we all know how Linda feels about the situation. She wants... Arthur to take over and Arthur got to try to keep her in line because he's like Arthur is not trying to be no head no head of the family or nothing like that he's never wanted to be you know what I'm saying like even from from season one until now he's never wanted that role he's always been as I said he's the muscle in the family and and rightfully so he has the the um the personality for it and all and all the stuff that pertaining to holding that kind of role. Tommy relies on him a lot to run that side of the business. So, um, you know, even though he makes a lot of mistakes and, you know, being, you know, off, get off track with, you know, with the cocaine and the, the drinking and stuff like that, it always comes back to him just being who he is. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, that's what I love about his character. So, um, so yeah, man, it's a pretty cool episode. Aburame came back with John. He think he, he says that John is the only one that knew where they were camping out. So he's the only one that could have possibly gave up his location to the Billy boys. Um, so there's a lot of conspiracy going around like now and, and right now. And Tommy's saying John is the only one that he feels like he can really trust. So that's crazy. So they're going to have to find out how the hell they, because I don't know how they found him. Shoot, this dude is basically lives in the woods. How did they find him? You know what I mean? So maybe they followed him back.
from where they did the job in um but that that seems like a reach too for me to say that so crazy stuff crazy i mean can't wait to see the next episode to see where they take this because um one of the i would have to say it's one of the darkest episodes of the series like that scene the billy boys they knocked that scene out of the park that's why it's, it's definitely got to be in my top five episodes of peaky blinders i mean it's just crazy but thank you guys so much for tuning in man make sure you hit that like button leave a comment in the comment section subscribe if you're new and also you already know you are a terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and I will see you guys for the next episode of Peaky Blinders. Peace.